Mm. Seems they like us. Anyway, this lot don't look as if they need keeping in order. They look as if they need a good meal or a bath. Don't know why we're bothering. We didn't tell you to come. Yeah, but I'm... So if you don't like it, go. There's nothing keeping you. I need the pay, so I'm staying all night. Was ended, lads. God save the king, etc. Now we'd hoped with the war done, Europe would open up for our goods. We'd hoped that the ladies of Paris would be swanning around in fancy smocks woven by the workers of Keatley. But it hasn't worked out that way. For there ain't no money in Paris, nor in Madrid, nor in Berlin, nor in any other damn place. Maybe Major Sharp here took all their money. Maybe we should ask him, eh? Anyway, the thick and the thin of it is that times are hard. The choices are hard. And the choice I've had to make is this. Should I lay folks off? No! Or should I cut wages? Well, it seems better to me that all should have less than some should have none. So, that's what I've chosen. Weekly wage cut from eight shillings to seven shillings a week. No, you can't do that. It comes hard, I know, but that is the way things are. I can't hardly support my family on eight shillings. How can I do it on seven? I'm sorry, Sam West, but we've just got to draw our belts tight, that's all. I don't see your belt getting tight. The last thing is this. I've heard tell of meetings in town. Meetings addressed by a wanted man, a traitor, a trouble stirrer, Matthew Truman. These meetings are unlawful. Decent wages if there are any more, Major Sharp and his men will break them up and arrest all those attending. Where is it? Rossendale's estate, man. Listen to me, I don't think you should get involved. I don't care. Where is it? Welling Park, at seven miles from here. And I think you're mad! Where is it? He's not here. Tell me where he is. He's out hunting, I swear it, Richard. Richard, don't. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm going to hurt him. What are you doing here, Jane? I came up with John. Why? To see Welling Park, that's all. How do you find being a lady, Jane? <laughs> I thought my money would have bought better than this. This is John's. It was bequeathed to him. He has no money. He has my money. 
My wife, can keep my money I want back. This is gone. Much of it is gone. Then he must get it back. He can sell this rattle for a start. Why, Jane? Why did you do it? I thought you... You promised you would not fight again. You fought a duel. Then you left me on my own. I did not leave you. I came back from battle and you were gone. You went to London. You took a peacock for a lover. You emptied my bank accounts. You broke your promise. That promise was foolish and I'm sorry for breaking it. But it does not balance up what you did to me. Jane. I thought you loved me. And if I tell you I did, would that make everything better? Would you have me back again? Rossendale's whore. Would you? Tell him I was here. Tell him I will be back. Goodbye, Jane. Gathering in town, humans with them. I'm Gerard, he says. It's a wage cut, he says. Did he say he was cutting his wages? No, of course not. His wage stays the same. His pocket stays full. His stomach. Stays full. I am big enough. They say, they say it's because the war is over that times are hard. Yet we'll, we'll ask yourselves, when were they ever easy? This? It's in the square, sir. Well, sir? Come with me. So why did we even fight this war? Yeah. Oh. French, wasn't it? Who was our enemy? French. The people of France? Oh. What wrong did they do you but throw out a cruel, corrupt and feeble regime and install a government that was truer to them and their needs? He doesn't have to hang him already. Well, I'll tell you why. To put back that cruel, corrupt and feeble regime. So that Louis the Gouty could be winkled out of his exile's trough in England to oppress his people again. So fat he can hardly fit his carriage. 